I grew up in York County, Virginia, about an hour from Richmond, an hour from Virginia Beach. Lingley Air Force Base is pretty close to where I grew up, so we had some kids who were military kids, and then obviously we had the kids from the neighborhood. I grew up on a street called Karis Chapel Road, uh, which still exists. We call it the PD, the Peninsula District. You know, we, everyone talks about the 757, and so when you go places, you know, we, we kind of, we can identify with each other and where we're from and, 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 the, and the way we came up and, and the struggles we had and the good times that we had. Sports mean a lot, you know, schools are great, academics are important to the families. It's just something to be proud of. Going to Tab High School, the, the school pride, being a Tiger meant a lot. So there's a, a lineage of football, basketball, baseball, stardom, and we all pushed each other. So I had an opportunity to play with Kirby since we were like kids. You know, growing up from eight years old, and the first time we actually played on opposite teams when we went to the NFL. Won a state title uh, in my junior year at, at Tab. You know, I lost three football games in four years. Third down and four. The pass is batted down. It'll go incomplete. Chris, Chris Wade, 6'5", 213. Just, I was a part of a lot of remarkable big-time football, basketball games, sellout crowds, standing room only. Uh, it was awesome. Lifelong friends and family, Slade and Kirby parlayed the championships and All-American accolades garnered at Tab High School into being the cornerstones for the resurgence of Virginia football in 1989. The two provided a proof of concept that the Commonwealth's best could stay home and thrive. Coming out of high school, you know, I took, you know, my, I took four of my official visits, but I knew in my heart of hearts I always wanted to be a Cavalier. I learned real quickly it's grounds, not campus. But just, you know, Tom O'Brien did an outstanding job recruiting uh, myself uh, and the guys from the peninsula. You know, I wanted to really come here because I wanted to be a part of a, um, the regime that would change the program, being close to home. We had a 12 o'clock game, my parents could be back home by seven. So I looked at the whole big picture, education, uh, connections, post football, been an opportunity to play and being part of a special team. And it was the best decision I made. Over four years, Chris Slade and Virginia football both experienced success not before seen in Charlottesville, a two-time All-American and National Defensive Player of the Year. He was drafted by the New England Patriots in the spring of 1993. After his nine-year NFL career, he retired to begin his coaching career at Pace Academy in Georgia. Despite all of his travels, Chris Slade's heart has never been far from the peninsula the university, the special places he calls home. Being able to come back here and coach and walk in the same hallways at McHugh and see some of the same people that were here when I was here, it's all come literally full circle. And I can relate now, the academics here, the rigor here, and hopefully they can take a little bit of what I've learned and take it and become better student athletes. I'm a true diehard Cavalier, always have been, you know, always will be, and it's, I take a lot of pride in the V.